All right, guys. I've been waiting to do this review for a while. This is the Makita XCU06Z chainsaw. All right. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this. I've been waiting longer. Let's crack her open. All right, folks, so this is the Makita 10-inch LXT brushless chainsaw, all right? Um, what's great about it is it's really Makita's first 18-volt chainsaw, right? Um, if you're familiar, they have two or three other chainsaws. They actually have a 12-inch X2, right? They have a 14 X2 and a 16 X2. They all use two batteries, all right, two 18 volt batteries. This one runs on one 18 volt battery. All right. Now it's a top handle. All right. That's also something that you're not going to find in the lithium ion uh, platform. Um, great for those tree service companies, the people that cut trees professionally. Really one of the first uh, lithium ion top handles out there. So let's take a closer look. Let's open her up, unbox her, and see what we got um, inside. All right, let's crack this baby up, all right? Um, this really, no other tool company is anywhere close to what Makita's doing with these chainsaws. With this chainsaw, they have a 10-inch, a 12-inch, a 14-inch, and a 16-inch chainsaw. Again, there's no other OPE line that's doing that. Um, tool company. But here's uh, their poster that you kind of get with every tool. And it seems like every time I get a Makita tool, this poster gets a little bit bigger. As you can see, now with over 200 tools, you know, from vacuums to OPE tools to all different types of power tools, it's really incredible. Uh, here's their operator's manual, owner's manual, and here is your warranty card, all right? You got to fill this out, send it to Makita, and you will get a full three-year warranty on this chainsaw, all right? As you can see, it's nicely wrapped for you, but what I can't get over is how much this chainsaw weighs guys it's 7.2 pounds all right easily could be used with one hand like it's like it's nothing here i am holding up what my pinky it's so light um here is your oil reservoir uh extra large uh, but we'll talk about that uh later um here's your on off button as you know or if you're familiar with their chainsaws you hit it once it turns green and after 60 seconds it'll shut off uh, here's your trigger, variable speed trigger with a safety on top. Um, and here's your Makita bar. All right, you get a nice bar cover. Um, and if you're familiar with Makita's other chainsaws, this is exactly the same, except it's a 10-inch bar. All right, um, you also get a Oregon chain with this chainsaw. All right. Made in the USA. Uh, also comes with metal spikes for teeth. Optional. Comes with two screws. If you want to add it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Uh, also comes with a tool to loosen and tighten the chain. Let's talk about some... All right. I just want to go over some of the specs of your top handle Makita brushless chainsaw. Like I said, it has the power comparable to a 22cc gas-powered chainsaw. All right. Um, like I said in the, uh, earlier, 4,720 FPM, 
All right. That's pretty darn good for a lithium ion chainsaw. Um, it has a torque boost mode for cutting dense material. Um, uses a guide bar chain tensioning uh, with captured nut. Um, automatic chain lubrication, like mostly all chainsaws these days. Got a large oil reservoir. Um, it weighs 7.2 pounds, bare bones. You add a battery to it, you know, probably be definitely under nine pounds. Um, has automatic shut off after six, 60 seconds. It'll shut itself off. Um, built in lock off lever for helps pertain, uh, prevent the chain from accidentally engaging. Front hand guard and, of course, an electric brake for maximum productivity. Obviously, it's lithium ion, low noise, rubberized soft grip. And I can tell you guys, you're going to be absolutely blown away with the power of this chainsaw. I know I was. All right, so let's put the chain and bar on her. Okay, we'll get back to that. All right, so you got a 10 inch bar. All right, you got your cover for your chain. And again, this is probably gonna be one of the lightest chainsaws that you can buy. All right, 10 inches, super, super light. Uh, this is where we're gonna put our bar oil. But first we wanna add the bar and chain. So let's show you how to do that. Comes with this nice nifty tool. And it comes with a Oregon chain. And it's 713120-8, 90PX040XMA, made in the USA. All right. So, first thing you want to do is loosen this nut right here. Take the guard off the plate, and this is where you're going to add your bar. So now I'm going to take your chain out. Okay. Make sure when you put this on, <laughs> all right, you got the sharp pieces going towards the saw, okay? Just like so. Nice. You can take your your plate, put it right back on. Now you want to tighten her up.
All right. Don't tighten it all the way, but tighten it pretty tight there. All right. All right. See how the chain's tightening? All right, I don't want to make it too tight. See, that, that's really tight. So now you want to loosen it a little bit. All right, a little bit. All right, that's good. Now you want to tighten this nut completely. Okay, <clears throat> real simple. All right, hold that. Keep filming them when you get the battery. Wow, this is so light. Turn it on. this thing guys the 36 volt don't be fooled all right i can tell you this chain moves a lot faster on this makita 10 inch and usually the smaller the bar the faster the chain is gonna um spin but even that dewalt 12 inch this thing is just check this out Wow. All right, let's see how she cuts. All right, so now we're gonna add our bar and chain oil. Don't overflow this, guys. I can't stress it enough. Because when you're done using this, if you're only gonna use it for a little bit and you keep this full, it's gonna leak, all right? Now, some chainsaws are worse or better than others. I can tell you that DeWalt 12 inch is absolutely a disaster it leaks oil everywhere all right all right that's plenty all right you could always add more all right but if you add too much you're gonna have a hell of a problem getting it out of there or you're gonna end up wasting it tighten it back up Turn it on. Man, it has such a kick on it. All right, let's test her out. What's great about this is you got easy one hand operation if you have to. Now that's a good three feet away from me. It's on. One hand, I can reach. That's what makes it being a top handle awesome. Like butter. That's around two inches, like it's nothing. I could tell you, it definitely has more power and it's so much lighter than the 12 inch 36 volt. And by, and no doubt about it, stronger than the same 18 volt 12 inch DeWalt XR. Just a lot better cutting power with this one. Let's go to something even bigger. All right, this is definitely out of this saw's league here, but we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna see if we can push it, all right? 
Now this is a piece of nine inch, all right? Eight and a half, nine inch, all right? Looks like white birch, all right? We're gonna see, it's gonna be really hard. As you can see, the bar barely passes the uh, actual piece of wood we're cutting here. So gonna be really tough, but let's try it. One hand, guys. This thing is an absolute beast, guys. I mean, that cut that, no doubt, better again than the 12 inch DeWalt and the 12 inch 36 volt Makita. Let's try it again. This is an unbelievable little saw, guys, for $199. And a saw, not only for the tree professional, the uh, professional um, companies that cut down trees, this thing has more than enough power for you guys. All right? Um, no fumes, no gas, no loud. It's a lot lighter. I mean, obviously, it's a lot lighter, but it's a lot quieter. Um, as well than a lot of these gas chainsaws the makita xcu06 probably the best chainsaw guys lithium ion probably that i have ever used for the size too look at this thing little beast let's see what else it can do All right, folks, so I'm absolutely amazed with the power of this new Makita 18-volt brushless chainsaw, guys. 10-inch, don't let the 10-inch bar um, persuade you against this saw. Again, you saw me cut a 9-inch, all right, piece of white birch from a, a falling down tree. Now, obviously, you don't want to use this saw for that application, but the speed that it cut that, much more powerful than the old 36 volt version guys i'm telling you that 36 volt version not only is it heavier bigger this one cuts so much faster so much better so much smoother it's absolutely just i'm blown away by this little saw here guys um also i want to let you know it does come with metal teeth as all makita chainsaws that's kind of what separates them from these other companies some companies don't have them or if they do they're just plastic um has two screws there's two screw holes, one here, okay, and one here. That's where your metal teeth will go. I'm glad that they give you the option, 
all right some people might not want them or might not like them i don't know why they wouldn't like them but these spikes are awesome that it, it you have the option of you know this saw coming with them all right guys i don't know what else to say except if you're looking and even for the homeowner guys don't you know, there's a lot of big saws out there with a big price tag on them. Um, you know, heavy. Some take two batteries. Some take 56-volt batteries. If you're a Makita's 18-volt platform, guys, this is an absolute must. All right? And I did this with a 4-amp hour battery. All right? The whole point, guys, if you can imagine the power of this saw soon as Makita kind of upgrades these 18650 cells up to the 21700. It's only going to give you more power. Um, so hopefully within the next couple of years, we see some 21700 cells. Um, it'll make this saw, again, even more supreme than it is. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Any comments or questions, let me know.